I can't wait for the World Cup to come. It's going to be amazing. It is going to be one of the most inclusive sporting events ever with the men's, the women's. And Wheelchair World Cup at the same time, same venue for the first time ever. But wait, there's more. As part of the Festival of World Cups, there will be a first ever PDRL World Cup. And we're excited to say... A World Cup themed community integrated care learning disability super league round. What is that I hear you ask? For starters, we're going to be playing at the world famous Headingley Stadium. All LDSL teams are invited to play at this great venue under the spectacle that is Rugby League World Cup. Today we're going to be drawing which teams are going to be playing for which nations. On the screen are going to be all the teams and as well all the nations that are going to be taking part in this great event. Each team has been allocated a number and when the number has been drawn that will be their nation that they'll be playing on that day. This will be done in alphabetical order until all the teams have been drawn. So who do you want to play for? It's going to be a great day full of action and excitement at Edinley Stadium. So here's a bit of information on the adaptations for the learning disability game. Learning Disability Rugby League is a modified version of the game developed to ensure people with a learning disability, autism or associated conditions can access and enjoy the game of rugby league. LDRL is open to all ages and is a mixed gender variant. LDRL is non-competitive and completely inclusive. It is delivered with a view to develop the participants' skills and confidence while providing new challenges and opportunities. All of the rules are flexible, dependent on the ability, ages and number of players, as the game is all about fun. Each squad consists of 13 players with a maximum of three non-disabled players who do not have a learning disability. The teams on the pitch are seven a side, which can be modified at festivals depending on the number of players. Each team can have two non-disabled players these players must wear high visibility for us and fast. They play as facilitators to progress the game. But they cannot score tries. Kick the ball or run more than five metres without passing. They must also succumb to tackles. Each game lasts a maximum of 40 minutes with two 20 halves. An unlimited number of substitutions can be made from each squad. The ball used in a size four, which can be modified at festivals the game follows Tag Rugby League rules, so all players must wear tag belts or tag shorts which have two tags attached to Velcro either side of their hips. Each team wears different colour tags. LDRL is played on the quarter of a full size pitch, 35 metres wide and 50 metres long as a minimum, which can be modified at festivals depending on the number of players. The game begins from a play the ball at the halfway line. The attacking team attempt to score tries while the defending team prevent them by removing the tag to complete a tag. The defender must shout tag and stand still once he removed the tag. The attacker must return to where the defender is holding their tag and reattaches their tag. All defenders must retreat back 5 metres towards their goal line. The attacking team have 6 plays to score or get as far down the pitch as possible. After six tackles, a handover of possession in the form of a play, the ball takes place. After a try, play will be restarted by the opposition team with a tap at the centre of the halfway line. The ball carrier is not allowed to fend off tackles as this is a strictly non-contact game. No forward passes and no ball stealing. These infringements will be penalised and counted as a tackle against the attacking team. Kicks are allowed after the fifth tackle, but only by place who have a lung disability. There are no winners in LDRL as the focus is on enjoyment in a non-competitive game. All LDRL teams are invited to join the Learning Disability Super League, run in partnership with the Super League and Community Integrated Care. This provides exciting festivals and unforgettable, incredible experiences for players, including coaching, 
and volunteering opportunities. Learning Disability Rugby League is all about having fun while developing health and social benefits. So why not get involved? So here's James Simpson, England wheelchair player. To help us complete the draw today. Thanks for having me. So let's get down to the draw. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Here, Here we, we go. go. Get them all in there. Can I give him a bit of a stir? Right, here we go then. So, first one is going to be number nine, which is Hull KR, and they're going to be playing as England. Right, next one up, number two, not number two, the second one, is going to be number ten, which is Hull KR again, and they're going to be Australia. Right, we're going back in. God, I'm not doing this on purpose. Number 11. So number 11 is Leeds Rhinos, who are going to be playing as Ireland. So I can get something totally different out now. 15. So 15 is going to be Sheffield, and they are going to be playing as the Cook Islands. Right, back in. Number 12. So number 12, which is going to be Leeds again, and they'll be playing as Brazil. Right, let's go back in. Number one. So number one, who's Barrow? And Barrow will be playing as France. Ooh. Number 16. So number 16 is going to be Saints, St. Helens, and they are going to be playing under the banner of France. Right, back in. Number five. Number five, which is Featherstone. So Featherstone Rovers will be going as Fiji. And number 13, unlucky for some. Number 13 which is Newcastle. So Newcastle will be playing as Jamaica. Number two. Number two is Barrow again, and they will be playing as PNG, Papua New Guinea. Number six. So number six is Featherston again, and Featherston are going to be playing as Canada. Number three. Number three. So three next. We've got Cass, Castleford, Cass Tigers are going to be playing as New Zealand, as the Kiwis. And we're down the last few now. So number eight. And number eight is Hull FC. And Hull FC will be playing as Greece. Last three now. Number seven. So number seven, which is Hull FC again, and Hull FC will be playing as Italy. Right, last two now. Second to last, number four. So number four is Cast Tigers again, and they will be playing as Lebanon. Right, last one now, so it should be too hard. Number 14, have gone. Uh, so it'll be Salford, and they're playing as Wales. Brill. Right, onto the second part of the draw then, with the remaining teams. So straight in. So number four, we've got number four, which is Wakefield. And they will be playing in Group E as, no, sorry, Group D as Tonga. Right, next up, number ten. So number 10 is Wigan Warriors. Wigan Warriors will be playing as Papua New Guinea. Number seven. So number seven, Widness 
Witness will be playing as the USA. That's a good one. On the number six, which is Warrington, and they're going to be playing under the banner of Australia. Here we go. Number eight. So we've got number eight, which is Witness, and Witness are going to be playing under. Samoa in Group A, and that's Group A finished. All right, back in. Number two. So number two is going to be St. Helens, and St. Helens will be playing as Spain. Coming to the last few again. Number nine. So number nine is Wigan, Wigan Warriors, and they'll be playing as Scotland. So that's Group B finished as well. Number 11. So number 11 is York City Knights and they are going to be playing as New Zealand as the Kiwis. Down the last three. Number 5. Uh, number 5 is Warrington Wolves and they are going to be playing as England. Yeah, so that's Group D done as well. Last two, mate. So, number three, which is Wakefield. And Wakefield will be playing under the banner of... England again. So that's Group F finished as well. So last one. I'll pretend to mix it up. Uh, group one, Group one, Team one. And they'll be playing as Cook Islands. So that's St Helens as the Cook Islands. Right, so that's the draw finished. I think it's all quite exciting and I hope everyone's looking forward to it. And uh, we'll see you there. So there you have it. All the teams are out of the bag and into the festival. It's going to be a brilliant day of action and we can't wait to see you all here. See, see you soon. soon.